Page 49, Cradle Song. You'll notice the music getting a little more involved, a little more complicated, a little more challenging, and this wonderful. It's quite common when you see a piece of music you think, oh no, what? Just hold on. We'll get into it. We'll go through the system step by step. We build it up and we'll see what happens. Here they're introducing you to slurs. I haven't had slurs too much. I have had, but I haven't talked about them. We've had phrases. So let's talk phrases and slurs because you need to know them both and there's a little difference. But they're both indicated with that curved line. It's just another thing the curved line is used for. And sometimes when you see the curved line in music, you question, is it a slur or is it a phrase? Because they're different. Sometimes it could be both, but sometimes it's one or the other. Remember phrases. It's a musical sentence. It's musical thought. You lift up before and after phrase, like taking a breath. You separate the phrases with just a little bit of silence most of the time, not always, because you can have phrases come together where one note ends a phrase and starts the next. That happens. In that case, you're connecting them. Otherwise, you generally lift up between the phrases. Slurs, you connect the note within the slur, within the curved line, but you do not necessarily lift up before and after a slur. Depends on the music and what it needs. And that's the difference. A phrase, you do not necessarily connect all the notes in a phrase, but you lift up before and after them. A slur, connect the notes in a slur, but you may not lift up before or after a slur. They're sort of opposite each other. And sometimes trying to figure out which it is is just funner and all get out, you know. Here, they're all slurs. There are two note slurs here. And with a two note slur, we generally go down and up. This kind of a thing. Let the wrist relax a little bit. Not a lot, just relax a little bit. Look in the middle of this exercise here. Look, you're here. It's a three note slur in the second measure. Some down, up, down, up. Some teachers will teach you to play the second note short. No, I disagree with that. You give it its full value, except you got to lift up a little early, so there's a little, so you're coming up here. Here we are going to put a little silence between the slurs. But the slurs, they're not musical thoughts. It's not a musical sentence. It's a two-note sentence. No, it's a, it's a slur. And that's what we're doing first. So throughout this cradle song, we're, the hands are going to be doing this a little bit. All right, let's talk this cradle thing here. Look it over, it's two lines long. Clef signs are treble and bass clef. There's one sharp in the key signature. So either it's in G major or E minor, because those are the keys with one sharp in them. And this piece happens to be in E minor. But you do both scales. Do the G major scale, one octave up and down, and the E minor scale, one octave up and down. And you can practice two note slurs with those two. So I can go. Just down up with them. I mean, doing scales anyway, I just will get this other stuff in. That way when I run across it in music, I can already do it. And then two four time. And uh, there's eighth notes going nuts here. So it's one in, two in. Right hand first, let's see what we got. Actually, both hands are playing the same note names, but because of what's going on here, I want one hand at a time, I want to make a couple fingering suggestions. And when I first learn a piece, I connect everything. We'll do the slurs, that's part of articulation. Here, I'm going to connect them. And I recommend a fourth finger on the C, not, not three. Some teachers teach three, but if I take all the notes in the first measure, that is a chord that we'll learn about later, and that's fingering for the chord. So I just finger it that way in the music. It's four, and again four, still four. Now I can do three, because I want five finger here, scrunch up, and do it again. Major reach down, second finger. That's because we have the E ready. One. Yeah. So 
We get the right hand working, and then we do the same with the left. And again here, if I take all these notes in the first measure here, that, that, that's that chord, and that's the fingering four. So I'm going to use fourth finger there, not third. And I'm using four on all of these. And then end of the line one. Try and put them together. I hesitate, I don't care. It's here, here. They're the same note names in both hands. They just feel different because you're using different fingers. So I work out that. Then I go back over it carefully and slowly and get rid of the hesitations. And once I can do that, then I'll think about the articulation of these slurs. It's down up. Do you have a tenuto on the last measure? Good. Linger on that note. Hold it out for just a hair longer than a, a beat. And then let me think about the dynamics. As near as I can tell, it's both hands here, soft. Wherever you think soft is, piano. And you get the diminuendo arrow there to go down to very soft. Don't get very soft into the last measure. And then you have a re writ, R-I-T, above the staff there in the last measure. Slow it down a little bit. Yeah. Get into it and feel it. The natural accent. One and two and one and two. So first big. Now, when you so start subdividing beats, you're breaking up beats. Here we got two notes in every beat. We're we're Split them up. Huh? When that happens, each beat gets a little bit of a natural accent. You feel the beats. So you could do that on all these. I'm exaggerating them because you don't want to exaggerate them. You want to feel them. But that's out, down. And going down and up kind of helps that too. As far as the speed you go, it doesn't, it's up to you. Just play it accurate. Let's play it together very slowly and check the notes and the rhythms. I can't do the louds and softs, although they don't give you much. I will do the two note slurs though. I'll give us two counts. Ready and go and. Oh, let's try it together. They're all eighth notes, except the last. I put the metronome on eighth notes. So it's beating eighth notes here. One and two. That's how fast we're going to go. Or slow we're going to go. Ready and go and. Mm -hmm. 